Okay, well, hello, everybody. Welcome to today's webinar. I am Molly Hughes with Softly, and today is the first in a series of Softly webinars focused on finding the best sustainability certification for your brand or business. So this is a very, um, it's important and it's a timely topic with research showing that shoppers are becoming more and more discerning and skeptical of non-verified sustainability claims. And it's third party verified eco labels and certifications that are really what are most trusted by consumers and it, they guide um, our purchasing decisions. So we have a great list of certifying organizations that we're going to be speaking to over the next couple of months, including, let's see, we have Plastic Neutral Certification by Repurpose Global. That's on March 2nd. Um, we have Green Business Bureau on March 16th. We have Global Organic Textiles on March 23rd. That's GOT. Um, as well as the Green E Certification for Clean Energy Adoption and Cradle to Cradle for Life Cycle Analysis in early April. So we have just a really a wide um, range of, um, of topics that are going to be addressed. So if you're a brand considering certification or, or just really wanting to learn more about the process, you are in the right place. So at this time, I would like to bring on today's guest. We are super excited to learn about the Environmental Working Group and their EWG Verified Seal. Um, EWG is, is all about ensuring the quality and the safety of the ingredients in consumer goods products, which is, is so important. So with us today is Aya Matsumoto, the director of EWG Verified. Welcome, Aya. Thank you so much for having me, Molly. Um, this is a great opportunity and I'm really excited to be able to speak to all of you about EWG Verified and EWG and the work that we do. Um, you put it beautifully. Uh, I think you gave a great introduction to the value of the work that EWG does and the reasons that we might need a third party certification like EWG Verified or any of the other wonderful guests that you'll be have speaking on this series. Um, so, like you said, I'm Aya Matsumoto. I'm the director of EWG Verified here at EWG. Um, I've actually been at EWG for 10 years in wow. May. So, um, I joined pre-EWG Verified even. So, I've gotten to see this grow as a program here at EWG. I've gotten to see the reasons why a program like Verified is so important yeah. for consumers. Mm -hmm. So when you when EWG first started, what was what was the mission? So actually, EWG <clears throat> is an environmental nonprofit. Um, we say that we help consumers protect their health and protect the environment by being armed with information. So being able to make more informed choices about the products that they're using in and on their bodies or in their homes or in the world around them. Um, EWG actually started uh, was started by a soil scientist, um, our founder, Ken Cook. And from that, over the 30 years uh, that EWG has been in service to the public, we have really found that what we want to do and what we need to do is just provide those information those educational resources and that information so that consumers can go out, they can learn more about the products, they can arm themselves with information. And as well, what we're also trying to do is put pressure on companies and put pressure more specifically on government to reform uh, legislation so that consumers do have more protections when it comes to potentially uh, hazardous ingredients that might be in a product, um, or at least ensuring that legislation and regulation matches the developments in science that have occurred since the last time it was updated. Right. So you've been with EWG for, for quite a while. Have you seen consumer demand increase over the years? Yes. Uh, that is something that we have seen is that EWG has a community of almost 31 million uh, wow. consumers who are who come to us across all of our different channels. So that's web, email, social media. Um, and these are consumers who are looking for information. They are looking for a trusted 
a third party source like EWG, who is able to give them the tools that they need to go out and make more informed purchasing choices, for mm -hmm. example. And yeah. what we have seen through some of the educational resources that we provide, like um, our Skin Deep database uh, for consumer products. So a lot of people know us because of Skin Deep. It has almost 90,000 products in the database and consumers can go there, they can look up their personal care products and then they can see how EWG would score that product from a one to a 10 <laughs> with one and two being what we would consider green rated. Um, it is a hazard based uh, database. So consumers can look and see what goes directly into their products and what concerns there might be for those ingredients or that product as a whole. Um, what we have seen is usage of Skin Deep has exploded uh, since we launched it, I believe 17 years ago, almost wow. 17, maybe more, don't quote me on that. Mm -hmm. um, we get about a thousand visits an hour to Skin Deep on average. Mm -hmm. So we know that consumers are coming and they're spending a long time on the website. When we launched Skin Deep, in the beginning, consumers were coming specifically to look up their personal care products. So they were saying, what does X, what does EWG say about X moisturizer or X brand, the products mm -hmm. from X brand? Um, that's changed over, over time, consumers are getting savvy. So they're looking up specific ingredients now. Um, they're <clears> going <throat> to say, what is phenoxyethanol and why is it in my face lotion? Um, so consumers are now trained to ask m deeper questions. They're looking for specific information around ingredients, and they may know that there is a certain class of ingredients, for example, that they should be paying more attention to. Um, as you know, as consumer behavior has changed, as calls for more um, third-party certifications or stricter regulation around personal care products or cleaning products, for example, uh, we've noticed that consumers are continuing to come to EWG for that information mm -hmm. because we are a nonprofit first and foremost, and we have, whenever we make a recommendation, it is backed by science and our science team. So I think that that is really key in helping provide that confidence for consumers that they can trust recommendations or that they can look to EWG and specifically EWG verified products as being backed by a very rigorous third party standard. Yeah, so you were probably one of the pioneers when it comes to that. So when, when talking about Skin Deep, I'm assuming the products that you are doing the ratings for are ones that actually go on the skin? Um, and then where does EWG Verified come in into play in these two, these two certifications? Yeah, so EWG has a number of different consumer databases. This is one of the biggest services that we like to provide to audience and the public mm -hmm. um, as a way of helping them protect their health. So Skin Deep is our database for personal care products. So that would be, you know, like you said, things that go on your skin, on your hair, cosmetics, uh, skin care regimen, soaps, um, those kinds of personal care products, uh, oral, oral and dental hygiene, for example, or in other, other categories. Um, we also have our uh, guide to healthy cleaning, which is more geared towards your household cleaners and your laundry, you know, dish and laundry products. Um, when it comes to skin deep and guide to healthy cleaning and how verified plays into that so these databases um, score products uh, using a hazard-based approach um, looking at the ingredients that are in these products and then looking at what concerns may be associated with those ingredients so as i said a little bit earlier products generally go from a green rating to kind of um, you know darker yellow red ratings. Um, our guide to healthy cleaning uses an A to F scale, mm -hmm. um, like a letter scale, and mm -hmm. Skin Deep uses a one to ten scale, okay. with one and two being green rated. So one and two, or an A and a B, 
are green rated in our databases, EWG verified goes above and beyond those green rated, those green ratings. So by achieving EWG verified, what that means is you have provided more information to our teams of scientists, and you are also meeting heightened criteria when it comes to transparency. So both on PAC and to EWG as a certifier. Okay. So I talk to brands sometimes and they say, hey, we do these things. We just haven't gotten certified. Um, we just put on our packaging. We're all natural. We're green. Um, what is the risk in doing that? And what are they missing out by not getting a, a certification? Great question. Um, I think it comes down to what does natural mean? What does clean mean? Uh, these are not like organic. They're not regulated terms. So it can mean something different to every person. Uh, there's not a single unifying standard. When you look at a program like EWG Verified or another certification program, um, that means you're meeting specific standards. Um, yeah, EWG right. Verified, as, as a program, we publish all of our criteria online. Um, we have a unacceptable list of ingredients that are completely banned from EWG Verified products. We make that public. Mm -hmm. And we also have a restricted list of ingredients. So these are ingredients of concern that companies have to demonstrate that they meet the restrictions that we have set for those specific ingredients. Um, by making that public, we're helping consumers be able to parse what does verified mean? What does it mean that a company has gone the extra mile to achieve mm -hmm. a certification like EWG verified? Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, we talked a little bit earlier about how consumers are getting savvier. That means that they're, they know that unregulated terms or terms that have no set meaning, mm -hmm. um, they, they're a little bit, they can be a little bit more suspicious of that, or they can have more questions around, well, what standard is a company using when they're claiming a specific mm -hmm. term? Mm -hmm. um, whereas with UWG Verified or a, cert or a third party certification, the consumer can easily point to that and say, ah, yes, I know what that criteria is. I know what goes mm -hmm. into that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were talking about, you know, what is the risk of doing it? Well, unfortunately, there are companies out there that that aren't all trustworthy. You know, your brand might be the most trustworthy ever, but there are other people have kind of ruined it um, where um, they don't they don't trust it. There's greenwashing that's going on all the time. So this is is a way to you know to combat that. Um, so you had mentioned um, that the the list of you know of ingredients that cannot be in the products is made public. Is it all available on your website, or where do they get that list? Yes. So you can go a, cons a consumer can go a company can go directly to ewg.org/ewgverified. And on that page, there are links to where you can read the full criteria for the program. So the unacceptable list, the restricted lists of ingredients. Mm -hmm. And then you can also important, you know, very importantly, check to see what the transparency requirements are for a brand. Right. right. So, um, so they can take a look at the list if they think they qualify, you know, mm -hmm. to, to be, to be, you know, involved kind of walk me through that process. Um, you know, they would contact you, you know, what, what's it take to get EWG verified? Yeah, yeah, this is the, this is the fun part where we get to talk <laughs> about all the hoops companies have to jump through. Um, no, I'm, I'm joking, but be EWG, easy, right? <laughs> EWG verified. So the process to become verified, it happens in two phases. The first phase is where you go to our website and we highly encourage that you read read through all those criteria documents before you submit. But once you've taken a look through those, what you do is you submit an application <coughs> online. We have an application portal. Uh, you submit your application online and this will include, you know, information about your ingredient list, what marketing claims you, you might make around product usage instructions. And then we'll also need to see just uh, PDFs of your packaging because we want to be able to check to see how you're relaying this information to consumers. 
Okay. So once you submit that to EWG, our science team will then spend approximately four weeks reviewing that documentation and preparing a report for you. And what that report is going to say for each product you submitted is what restrictions might apply to those specific products. Um, at that point, they'll also tell you the kinds of documentation we would need to see to show that you meet those restrictions. Okay. So then a company would gather that information. Typically, your suppliers, uh, your manufacturers, your formulators should have that information on hand. They'll be able to provide that to you, and then you send that back to EWG. So that's kind of the first phase. Generally, it takes around four weeks. Once we receive that documentation from you, you go into what we call the substantiation phase. And that is when we receive your documentation and we review it. So we do a deeper dive into those documents you've sent us. And at that point, that takes about roughly five to six weeks. And once we have reviewed that document, we would get back to you and we would just say, we have some additional questions or, you know, we might need you to provide additional documentation or we would say, you know, congratulations, this product is EWG verifiable. Okay. So it, it kind of sounds like there's, it's quite the process, but if you look at it, really these are things that a brand is going to want to have on hand anyway, the documentation. Yeah. So, um, so really getting that all in order is kind of getting your household in order. Um, so it's probably a good thing to do anyway. So I know you're a nonprofit. You like to keep, you know, costs down for, for companies and for individuals. Um, where, do, where do you start paying in this process? Because I'm sure it's probably not all up front and it goes along a, a time scale. Yeah, so there, that's a great question. Um, mm -hmm. Fees, what are the fees for the program, for the certification? So there are two. The first is a $250 per product evaluation fee, which is really important because it covers our staff's time during the entire yep. length of the review process. And um, after, after your products are deemed to be ver verifiable or, or eligible for the program, we have an annual licensing fee. Um, and this is a fee that is typically based off of a company's annual revenue. So what is really important to stress here is that as a nonprofit, we believe that cost shouldn't be the barrier to entry. So if your pro products meet our standards and you want to be EWG verified, the cost of the program shouldn't be what keeps you from pursuing it. Um, so the annual licensing fees are on a sliding scale. We work very closely with companies to ensure that the costs of the program are affordable for them and within their budget. Um, we do have, you know, for smaller brands or for brands who are just getting started, we do have a scholarship program hmm. to help them kind of get into the program and then grow their support of the nonprofit as their company grows. Um, you know, EWG Verified should be a program that fits brands of all sizes. We have very, very, um, you know, smaller brands or brands who are just starting in their journeys. And then we also have very large, older, more established brands in the program. Um, and what we, what we try to do is ensure that companies that are able to support at a higher level, that those licensing fees are able to offset or support the costs of the smaller brands. Excellent. Because for us, we're not we're not meeting the mission of EWG or the mission of the program if we're not making the program accessible. Right, right. That's awesome. So if anybody has any questions, please put it in the chat because we will have time for questions at the end. Um, also, if you happen to be a brand and you're going out to California for Natural Products West for that expo, I know EWG is going to have a booth out there um, with even some other scientists there. So you can you can also ask questions there as well. Um, okay, so I have my next question for you is, what are the best sort of um, products or what do you specialize in as far as product categories? Yeah, great question. Um, and apologies, there's a there's a siren going by uh, downtown DC, uh, which is where EWG is headquartered. 
But when it comes to the pro product categories, so right now EWG focuses on personal care products, mm -hmm. diapers, and household cleaning products. Um, when it comes to personal care products, that could be your color cosmetics, skincare regimen, soaps, shampoos, toothpaste, mouthwash. It's a very, it's a very broad uh, range of products that are currently uh, licensable under the personal care products range. There are some categories that we don't, either we don't accept because um, <clears throat> we haven't expanded the program to those yet, or because as a product category, there are some health concerns um, that would prevent those products from being EWG verifiable. Hmm. But what is, um, oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I was just going to say what were you had mentioned kind of like that timeline, maybe you haven't expanded to those yet. Are there any specific areas that you're looking to expand to? Yeah, so EWG Verified, ultimately, we want this to be a program that touches all parts of a person's life. We want them to be able to have that confidence when it comes to whatever they're looking for. Um, right now, we're starting we're starting with the, the personal care, diapers and cleaners, because that is where, you know, we found there was a great need and our ability to step in with a rigorous standard. We, we had it ready. We could do that. Um, but we are always expanding. So just recently, we actually announced uh, an expansion of the personal care products category to include sunscreens, which was really exciting for us. Um, you know, now we have we have what we think is a really strong but attainable standard for companies with recreational sunscreens. So those applications um, are now open. So if you have a sunscreen, um, let's chat. Yeah, let's chat is right. OK, I do have a question from the audience. Um, do you consider EWG a watchdog consumer group? That's a, you know, that's a really good question. Um, when it comes to, you know, are we a watchdog group? I would say we are a group that's dedicated to ensuring that we're always advocating for consumers, for people who want to make healthier, safer choices for themselves and for their loved ones. So yes, that does, I think that that does mean we are always watching industry. We are always watching um, you know, legislators to ensure that we're pushing the market and we're pushing government to a stronger, safer, healthier standard. Yeah, really. Yeah, very good. Um, and then the other question that came in is at the very beginning, you had talked about, you know, different, um, different chemicals and different ingredients getting, you know, being like, you know, spotlighted at certain times as, um, you know, something, hey, we really need to be worried about. Is, are there any specific ones right now that are really high on EWG's radar um, that they're advocating to, you know, either ban or, you know, bring awareness to? Yes. So if you look at our criteria, there are certain classes of ingredients, chemicals that are currently unacceptable or are highly restricted under, under the program. Um, parabens, quaternary compounds, those are things mm -hmm. that our science team are always having conversations around. Uh, the, our program recognizes that science is dynamic. It's always changing. So our science team is always having conversations around what is the newest standard around these, these uh, ingredients of concern that are coming out and how do we want to respond to that. Um, EWG's criteria is created based on standards from around the world. So we're not just looking at the EU, we're looking at the Canadian health ministry, um, the Japanese health ministry, for example. And what we do is when there is an ingredient of concern, our scientists look at the standards that are currently available or the science around this ingredient if there's not a standard. And then we take the most, um, we take a, a the most, conservative approach. So the approach that protects human health. Um, so that is where we start. And then as science evolves, our co we have conversations around that. So we are always going to be taking a second, third, fourth, fifth, X look at an ingredient to ensure that we have our standards up to the most um, recent developments. 
Right, which is exactly why we um, brought you on today because EWG really has their finger on the pulse of what's going on when it comes to harmful ingredients in our everyday life. So I would like to thank you for being on. Couldn't have had a better guest as far as knowledge and background. And I, I know everybody, I learned a lot and I'm sure everybody else that was listening. So thank you so much for being on. In a second, I'm actually going to um, show um, how you can get a hold of Aya and her team if you have any questions, um, as well as you know where to find information on the EWG site. So um, thank you. Yeah, thank you. It was it was lovely to come and chat and thank you for the opportunity. You're very welcome and thank you. So research shows that um, most people want to support purpose driven brands that are doing the right thing, yet they they really just don't know who to trust. So all of you brands out here today, we talked about a great way to build that trust. And our goal at Softly is really to help you with that process, which is why we're doing these webinars. So you can learn about third-party verifications and really find that best certification for your business. Um, we do have a platform that takes that message, once you're verified, out to the consumers. And it's our personal sustainable shopping assistant. It's a free download from the Chrome Web Store, or you can get it at GetSoftly.com. So we would love to see your brand featured on it. We elevate and suggest um, sustainable products that are certified to be what they say they are to shoppers. Okay, so now to get a hold of us, um, here is the information on both EWG and on Softly. I uh, said that the email that's right here will take you directly to the EWG verified staff for answers. Um, and then there's also the information um, on Softly as well. So we thank you for being with us today. Please join us again. Um, we're going to leave you with our schedule of webinars going forward. So have a great day and everybody tread softly on the world.